I never thought about wanting to be an artist or even being an artist. My father was always making art, and my brothers and I always made stuff that was creative. And I've always assumed that art was creativity and not just the product. Going to college at the CCA in California just directed me towards something, but I didn't know what. All the political activism in the 60s affected me. And I came back here and I saw this beautiful place and this, the state of the nations. And I realized there's a place for a political commentary. And so I, I didn't decide to be an artist. I made a decision at the very beginning that if I were trying to express who I am, I wouldn't repeat myself. I wouldn't make myself into a style or an ism, but I would do what I need to say. Whenever I see something and I want to make it, I, I choose, like a, a piece of steel or a piece of wood or stone. But I also realize there's a great limitation for any material if you let the market define what you're supposed to be saying. So I started trying to change painting stone, mixing materials, using whatever I want. And right now I'm, I'm free to do whatever I want. And I'm doing mostly works on paper, politically active things that aren't really definitive about my opinion but it's really to allow the, the viewer to have their own solutions. Catalyst for American society. We need art for that purpose. We just need art to talk and make us think. I believe that every human being is an artist. It has nothing to do with the product. It has to do with your thinking. And I get that from my tribe living in southwestern New Mexico. We had to live in the most uh, desolate area, and yet we survived and thrived. And how did we do that? Well, we had to do it by a very simple form of problem solving that said religion, politics, uh, all this stuff has to be pushed aside for something more meaningful. And what is that more meaningful thing? It has to do with the relationship to nature. How do we live here and not destroy? How do we prepare it for our distant grandchildren? And that's what I think art should do too. Art should just be a, the voice of the people. I look at everything, but not because I want to be influenced, but because it makes me think. And that's, that's where my, my vision comes from, is just from almost everything, you know, from a sunset to a dog poop on a trail. There's got to be some story behind it. I think that my, my method and my statement has more to do with uh, being a catalyst and inspiring thought. So I think that if I can influence people to start talking to each other about other things besides uh, this quest for beauty, then maybe we can create a cultural statement that comes directly from a, an indigenous way of thinking.